We're back with another edition of This Is Today, where we highlight some of the top trending and buzzworthy stories on today.com. So here with what you need to know, we all need to know, is today digital editor, editorial director, Ariana Davis. And if you want to read more, is this me? Do you hear that? I think it is. Okay, I'm making sure I hear like yeah. that. Anyway, if you want to hear more of these stories, you can just scan that QR code. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. These are always so good because it allows us to see what everybody's clicking on. You know, and I'm here with the internet. <laughs> all right, so we all know one person um, draws, you know, when somebody chews with their mouth open, it almost becomes a thing and it can be somewhat annoying, if you will. So you guys tackle that on today.com. There's an answer for that, apparently. Yeah, Ask Mr. Manners is our food etiquette expert, mm -hmm. and he basically says that you have a couple options. You can either A, just like avoid having dinner with this person ever again, <laughs> or B, you can, there's kind of two tactics. You can either just try to. Start, that guy's nails are dirty. That we was... actually did a little test to see how I'm... you guys do with chewing with your mouths open, and you all actually passed the test. FYI. Really? Yeah, okay. but if you. I don't. Oh, that's well, there, there's one little mouth open there from Dylan, but really, if well, you. It, you, can, you can kind of follow, you can lead by example, or if there's a kid at the table, this is a good trick. You can say, Joey, we don't chew with our mouths open at the dinner table, do we? And that's a good way to kind of hint oh, to the other person. Remind the adult. Hey, that, like remind the adult yes. in the room of good etiquette at the table. But I love that. It, he basically says, it's not the hill you want to die on. So you may just have to kind of accept <laughs> the bad <laughs> etiquette from your friends. That's yeah. funny. Um, speaking of food and, you know, summertime ice cream. And yes. you guys actually did an article ranking ice cream from the worst to the best. Yes, all 31 of them Ooh, was like kind of flavors okay. and oh. we have some for you guys spoiler alert caramel this is pecan a... was actually the number one flavor on this list which caramel pecan. i gotta say i heard you're a cookie dough girl like me mm -hmm. so yeah. i our favorite oh. is actually number 26 on the list okay chanel's a little bit higher cookies mm. and cream her yes. favorite is number nine okay. but at the bottom of the well, list is, is cotton candy bubble gum which our writer on the today food team basically is that says is, is, that's that one yeah, yeah. and cool. she argues kind it's color? like it's basically like the same flavor um, and if you want to see the full list, you can you can scan the QR code. But yeah. I don't know caramel pecan. I'm like that's not I'm my number one. Eyes about that. I, I feel ice cream is objective. I, I I don't my know. thing with vanilla, cotton candy right? is the fun of cotton candy is that it's fluffy and it's yeah, not so much the it's flavor. It's not meant to be an ice cream yeah. flavor. It's okay. Like, it's not meant yeah. to be cereal and yeah. those things. So from ice cream to oh, exercising. Oh, bubblegum. Sorry. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, is that what? You There's a reason that's the last one on the list. That clearly. is so funny. <laughs> Why would we, you want frozen bubblegum? Sorry. Yeah. Like, it's like at the bottom of a when well, you know. Anyway, let me move on to that one. Walking and other leisure activity can boost brain health and reduce dementia risk, which is that grabs a lot of attention for sure. Yeah, we've been talking about walking. Al Roker, everyone on our Start Today Walking Challenge, and the good news is if you're into leisurely physical activities like walking, biking, yoga, swimming, it can actually help reduce your risk for dementia by up to 17. percent Wow, that's significant. Yeah, a new study found that. Also, things like puzzles, crafts, anything that's keeping your mind going can also contribute as well. That's good. I'm chewing gum right now. <laughs> so I, went, I feel like I'm in like Willy, Won Won with Willy Wonka. I actually have gum in my mouth. Okay, this next story really tugged on our heartstrings about a dad and a daughter. Mm -hmm. I am obsessed with this story. This, uh, <laughs> this, this teenager is a huge Harry Styles fan, and when her dad surprised her with tickets, not only did he surprise her, but they, they also went thrift store shopping and got matching outfits, matching cowboy hats, that's they so did their cute. nails together, matching <laughs> Doc Martens. The, the Ramper Sands are just the cutest father-daughter duo, and they're viral everywhere right now. Our reporter, Allison Slater-Tate, talked to them after the Toronto concert, and Aww. he says he's not even a huge Harry Styles fan, but he's doing it because his daughter is super into it. It'll make her happy, yeah. and it's all about the experience. He's a huge daughter fan. Exactly. Yeah, he's a fan matters. of his daughter, yeah. and they're like, making those memories. That's why got his ears pierced. I mean, what dads <laughs> will do for their daughters. Yeah. Yeah. So last but not least, Megan Barkle, what's happening? Is she speaking? What is she talking about? We just published a story as we speak. So she did an interview with The Cut where she's opening up like she hasn't in some time. She basically revealed to The Cut that she potentially is going to be re returning to Instagram, which we know is big news. She's been off of social media for a while now after all of the brouhaha. Um, and she also talked about why she didn't re she didn't follow royal tradition when it came to releasing photos of her children. She said mm -hmm. all of the backlash that she was getting and the name calling her kid got, why would she share photos yeah. of her kids with the public before the people she loves? Well, that makes sense. Yeah. We get it. It's a great well, interview. I'm sure that's going to be, uh, yeah, all the buzz today. <laughs> Ariana's always Thank you so much. Thank you so and much. For more, you can head to today.com or you can sign up for our new This Is Today newsletter by scanning the QR code right there on your screen. There it is, right there. You'll get the latest in culture, news, pop culture, all that good stuff. And they email it to you every single morning. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.